It's another episode of Loyal TV. And say hello to another great Oklahoma town here in Guthrie. After the land run, this picturesque city was one of the first railroad stops in Oklahoma. And as a location critical to transport, Guthrie was named the first state capital in 1907. But three years later, voters would choose Oklahoma City as the new headquarters, drawing away residents and business, but resulting in Guthrie's distinctive appearance today. As towns like Oklahoma City grew, they tore down their early infrastructure, but not in Guthrie. That's why the city is now recognized for its collection of late 19th and early 20th century commercial architecture and is a national historic landmark. Guthrie's Victorian style is a perfect setting for Wild West style shows, carriage tours, and art galleries. And back in the day, Guthrie was also known for a young lady who had a distinctive style all her own. This is the story of Lucille Mulhall. So saddle up for a great tale. We'll start our rompin' stompin' story when Lucille was about four years old. That's when her family claimed a 160-acre ranch near the Guthrie Territory. As Lucille grew, her parents, Zach and Agnes, noticed she's a bit different than most girls. Lucille has no interest in dolls, sewing, or the music lessons that occupy the time of schoolgirls her age. Instead, she spends her time outdoors. This was a boon for her father, so it isn't long before he put Lucille to work, and not long after that, Lucille is roping and catching over 300 head of cattle. By the age of 10, she was entertaining crowds at the request of Guthrie's mayor. So in 1889, Zach forms the Congress of Rough Riders and Ropers, with his daughter riding by his side, and soon Lucille became the star attraction. During an interview with a reporter, Lucille said, I feel sorry for the girls who never lived on a cattle ranch and have to attend so many teas and be indoors so much with never anything but artificiality about them. July 4th, 1900. It was the last day of the popular Oklahoma City Rodeo. Thousands of rambunctious Oklahomans had braved the relentless sun to witness the reunion of the Rough Riders, the famed cavalry regiment commanded by Theodore Roosevelt. For hours, the cracks and whips of lassos filled the air as red dirt flies and steers fall into the Oklahoma mud. Then, on a chestnut horse, a tiny figure rides into the round, wearing a split skirt and a smile. This is 14-year-old Lucille. Suddenly, a steer weighing a dozen times as much as Lucille smashes into the arena, and as quick as a flash, that steer is roped and tied, causing the crowd to erupt. As Lucille takes first prize in the roping competition, a thoroughly impressed President Theodore Roosevelt bows and tells Lucille none of his troops could have done a better job. The term cowgirl had been around for a while, but at this point, it seems Lucille Mulhall was the only one who owned the title. Legend has it that President Roosevelt wanted an Oklahoma wolf to add to his famous curio room, but only on the condition that Lucille roped it. And of course she did, coming back after three hours dragging a gray one as big as a year-old steer behind her. Lucille continued to trailblaze and stun crowds into her mid-50s, combining her knowledge of roping, riding, and cattle with her stage experience. Lucille was able to carve out a sizable stake in the rodeo and Wild West show markets. She started producing her own act too, Lucille Mulhall's Big Roundup, and throughout the early 1900s, Lucille's troop traveled across the United States, helping launch the careers of legends such as Will Rogers and Tom Mix along the way. Lucille became a trailblazer for women, not only in the field of athletic competition, but also as a businesswoman and promoter. Unfortunately, Lucille's life was tragically cut short at the age of 54 after a car accident. It rained on the day of her funeral, so much so that Lucille's hearse became stuck in that same Oklahoma mud in which she had wrangled so many cattle. A team of horses was called to pull out the car, and fittingly, it was horses that brought Lucille to her final resting place. Join us next time for more of the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard, right here on Loyal TV.